Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, saints. I greet you in that wonderful name of Jesus Christ, the name uh, that sinners must be saved. And I am uh, enthusiastic this morning because it's Mission Monday. And although I'm having a small technical glitch, uh, Elder Binga, uh, I can't seem to share on this, uh, on this uh, MacBook here. Uh, but I will try and connect on my on my on my iPad and share there. But it, we won't stop. We won't stop the work of God. We are still speaking this morning about connecting, connecting with Jesus for eternity. Are you with me this morning, Church? Connecting with Jesus for eternity, and I see it in this way. I see that that I am. Uh, present continuous connected with Jesus. I am connected with Jesus and, and I want to stay connected with Jesus. And when, when Jesus leaves the most holy place, my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. And, 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 and when Jesus comes, I am connected with Jesus. It will not be I am seeing somebody that I haven't seen in one week. Oh, I seen him last month. Oh, I seen him three days ago. I want to walk and talk and, 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 and be educated, edified, and blessed by the presence, by the presence of Jesus. What do you say this morning? Do you share that sentiment with me this morning, beloved? And I know that God, God has great things in store uh, for you. Uh, maybe, Brother Mbinga, you can just make my other. My, my other profile also a, a, a host and I can then I can share I'm not sure if it will work now that I'm okay perhaps now yes so 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 yes thank you thank you sir and we are still in the book of, of, of John 15 I must move because we are people of time amen we are still in the book of John 15 and uh, we are we are considering uh, we, we we are considering in John 15. Let me let just give me a moment. Sorry, just give me a moment. Thank you, thank you. You can guide me. Start broadcast. Thank you. Keep us in prayer. Keep us in prayer. Is it visible, my elder? Um, something you. is happening. Something, yes. something is happening. Yes, it is. Thank you. Wonderful. And we are in John 15 this morning. Thank you. And we're reading verse eight, 5 and verse 8. And read with me there. Uh, it says, I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me, connecting with Jesus. And I in him. He bears much fruit. I like the much fruit part. For apart from me, you can do what? Nothing. Verse 8 says, My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit, and so prove that you be my disciples. Oh, I love that, beloved. So prove that you be my disciples. And this morning, friends, as we are connecting with Jesus for eternity, uh, it is our desire to know that, that, we, that we have a work to do. Today is Mission Monday. It's Mission Monday, and we have a work to do, an important work. A, a missionary was laying on his deathbed. Listen to the story. It's a true story. A missionary was laying on his deathbed and was asked by his son and successor to give him one word that he could remember him by because his, his speech was very impaired. impaired. Uh, the frail and gasping missionary uttered the word fruitful, fruitful. And it is said that uh, it is the desire of each faithful and converted, uh, note those two words, faithful and converted Christian to be connected with Christ and so being bare fruit of righteousness, not just good-looking leaves. Remember the story of the fig tree? Not just good-looking leaves, but fruit of righteousness that glorify God and impact and bless 
the lives of God's people. I like the psalmist, uh, when the psalmist say in Psalms 1, verse 3, beloved, uh, we will go through the Bible this morning. I, I know that we didn't have a Bible study last night, so we will go through the Bible. Uh, Psalms 1, verse 3 says, he will be like what? Like a tree firmly planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and its, and its leaf does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whatever he does. This morning, our sub team to connecting with Jesus for eternity is biblical fruit bearing. And I want to just paint a picture of biblical fruit bearing. And because we say biblical fruit bearing, it means there should be also unbiblical fruit bearing, beloved. So in Matthew 3 verse 8, we find that John the Baptist says, therefore, be, bear fruit in keeping with repentance. In other words, fruit bearing is connected to repentance, to our conversion experience. And then Jesus, speaking about false prophets, says, so then you will know them by what? By their, by their fruits. Romans chapter 1 verse 13, Paul calls winning converts uh, for Christ fruit bearing. And I'm not going to read all of it. Uh, and then Romans chapter 15, verse 28, Paul calls financial gifts. And amen, we are supporting God's work. What does the church say? That is an act of love that flows out from an experience with God, sacrificial giving. And, and, and Paul says, uh, therefore, when I have finished this and have put my seal on this fruit of theirs, I will go on the way uh, of you to Spain. And we see that, of course, the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 25, verse 22 and 23, and Colossians 1, verse 6. Listen to what Paul says in Colossians 1, verse 6, beloved of the Lord. Paul described the spiritual and numerical growth of the church as fruit, which has come to you just in all the world. Also, it is constantly bearing fruit and increasing. Hallelujah. Is your church growing numerically and spiritually this morning? Is your family growing? Is your life growing? And then Paul's prayer, we can't miss this one. Uh, 1 verse 10, he says, so that you will walk in, 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 in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please him in all respect. What? Bearing fruit in every good work and increasing, increasing in, 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 in knowledge. What do you say about that, saints? I've unpacked for you what biblical fruit bearing is all about. You see, friends, there is a beautiful song uh, this morning that says that uh, Lin Lin Linda Rendell sings, my house is full, but my field is empty. You might have heard it on the, on the, on the group at some time. And I have a question for you this morning, uh, saints of the living God. Are you fruitful, church? Or are you churchful? All right. And the word is, of course, coined. Uh, are you fruitful or are you churchful? You see, fruitful people, fruitful people are spiritual people. And religious people are churchful people. Fruitful people, spiritual people are people that want to bless others. They want to give. They are givers. They are healers. They cover people's sin. They don't expose it. They bind wounds. And religious people want to expose others. They are stingy. They are about the rules more than relationships. And are you fruitful or are you spiritual this morning? Uh, uh, or are you churchful this morning, beloved? Yes, friends, the term biblical fruit bearing, the term biblical fruit bearing uh, implies that there is unbiblical fruit bearing. Listen to the pastor this morning. Don't lose the pastor. In inverted commas, unbiblical fruit bearing. For every good and original plan of God, the enemy introduces a counterfeit. And Jesus himself exposes this unbiblical fruit bearing. Turn in your Bibles there. Take out your Bible. Go to your smart device. Matthew 21, verse 18 and 19. Let's go there. Jesus slept over and he came early in the morning. Listen to this. Now in the morning when he was returning to the city, 
He became hungry. Seeing a long fig tree, a lone fig tree, sorry, by the road, he came to it and found nothing on it except leaves only. Are you with me, church? And he said, and he said to it, no longer shall there ever be any fruit on you. And at once the fig tree withered. Jesus is exposing unbiblical fruit bearing. Today, beloved, is Mission Monday. And we cannot have Mission Monday unless we confront ourselves with the question, are we missionaries or are we a mission field? What do you say, church? Am I a missionary or am I a mission field this morning? My house is full. I see here, uh, Elden Binga, 341 uh, beloved souls of the Lord is on here and some as more than one person. But how many of us are in the mission field? How many of us are praying for mission, are intentional? Uh, there is a danger. Your pastor is, say, is, is, is counseling you this morning and also for me, there is a danger amongst the remnant people of God. Members, leaders, pastors, and those in high organization that we can operate with green leaves. Let it sink in. There is a danger among us from the top right down that we can operate with green leaves, that we can thrive on reputation, on pedigree, that we can be known for fruit of yesteryear. And yet Jesus is hungry today and is looking for fresh fruit. Yes, I want to submit to you, friends, that Jesus is still hungry to see fruit of righteousness in the lives of his blood-bought children that can glorify God and bless everyone in our influence sphere. I wish I had an amen up there. I wish I could see the church this morning. Somebody speak to me this morning, man. I feel alone here this morning. Yes, Jesus says that, that he, that he, he wished to see fruit of righteousness in the lives of the blood-bought children that can glorify God and bless everyone in our influence, in our influence sphere. So we, we, it's Mission Monday and, 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 and we have been, been privileged, uh, well, uh, for many years, uh, but specifically now, and I want to share with you fresh fruit, uh, a few Sundays ago, I was, I was walking on the beach at, uh, where I live close to, to, to Strand Beach. And, and, and it's, it's my custom in the morning to spend the hour, at least five or, or at least five of the seven days, God willingly, on the beach, walking, talking, preparing, doing whatever God wants me to do there. And I meet people. I pray. I go prepared with tracks. I am intentional, brothers beloved. I pray for the harvest. And I, I, I met a, a, a group of people there, one group of young people. They were baptizing a young lady, just ladies. And, and I managed to meet them. I prayed with them. I gave uh, an e-book. I sent them e-books on, on their WhatsApp. And the Lord is doing his work. And then I passed to another group. There was four people and a pastor baptizing two ladies. And I sat there. I, st I stood with them. I waited for the ceremony to finish. I, I sang with them, I prayed with them, they did it, I was there supporting and I met them and the pastor said, please come to my church. And yesterday we went to uh, Pastor Freddy's church, Fire Ministry International, I hope you can see it. And indeed it was a blessed experience, indeed it was a blessed experience. The church was full to capacity, there was about a hundred people there. And we could tell them about family, the importance of family. And we could share with them also the importance of uh, beholding that we can become changed and not beholding that we become slaves. Are you with me, church? Because we can easily become slaves and not, and not change. Or, or rather, we should become slaves of Jesus Christ. But this is what God does. Mission Monday. Are you still there? It's Mission Monday, and the Lord is challenging you. What is your plan for this week to tell people about Jesus? And there's another pastor that we met, but that is, is for another day. So the, you, you asked me this morning, Pastor, what can I do? 
What can I do? I've heard the gospel. What must I do? The Lord says to us this morning, turn away from sin. You see, sin keeps us away from mission. Sin makes us indifferent to people. Turn away from sin. Only converted and connected people bear fruit of righteousness, not green leaves. Pray for the harvest. Ask God for you to bear fruit of righteousness that can bless others. Then pray for a deep hunger because the word of God is where the power is. A, 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 a fervent prayer life is where our strength lies. Pray for a hunger and an appetite for the word of God and ask for the Lord to unclutter your life. Our lives is far too busy with the peripheral, with the things of, of, of mundane and, 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 and the things of time while we are journeying to eternity. Come on, church. We are on our way to eternity. I'm ready to land, uh, Elder Mbinga. We are closing. And I want to share with you just a few thoughts. I'm, I'm, I'm an old school preacher. We, we, we grew up with Ellen White. We, we're not apologetic to share. Desire of Ages, uh, 667, paragraph 1 says, Herein is my Father glorified, said Jesus, that ye bear much fruit. Listen to this. God desires to manifest through you the holiness the benevolence, the compassion of his own character. Yet the Savior does not bid his disciples to, lay, to labor to bear fruit. No, no, no. We need to be connected with Jesus. Fruit is a product of that connectedness. What do you say this morning, church? And then, of course, he expounds on us uh, uh, living in the word. And, and the last part says the life of Christ in you produces the same fruit. As in him, living in Christ, adhering to Christ, supported by Christ, drawing nourishment from Christ, you bear fruit after the similitude of Jesus. I want to tell you this morning that there is still, there is still time. There, there, is still, there is still time for us, beloved of the Lord. There is still time for us to make right. There is another story of a tree that, 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 that the owner came, that the, the owner of the land came and he said, this tree was not bearing fruit for three years. Cut it off. And then there was a gardener and this gardener is Jesus. And he comes and he says, please, owner, give it one more year. I will water it. I will fertilize it. I will till the soil. And if it bear fruit, then good. But if it does not, it can be cut off. Education says to us, page 15, by infinite love and mercy, the plan of salvation had been devised and the life of probation was granted for us to restore in man the image of his maker, to bring him back to the perfection in which he was created. In which he was created. And my prayer and my hope today is that the Lord must bless us. Connecting with Jesus for eternity. That's my prayer. What is your prayer today? Are you willing to bear biblical fruit of righteousness this morning? Biblical fruit bearing this morning. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are humbled once more by your word, by the power of the word, the life-giving, the cutting, the pruning of your word, Lord that we can just humble ourselves this morning, that we can just be honest with ourselves and say, I have a long way to go to be like the Lord. Oh, speak to somebody, speak to my heart, speak to your children's heart this morning, Lord, that we need to change. We need to make a turnaround. We need to cut. We need to unclutter. We need to change our diaries. Our busy schedule is going to lead us to damnation, Lord. Help us to change, Lord that you can control us and that we can bear fruit of righteousness, connecting with Jesus for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. Indeed.